Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do another pick a card. Now, this pick a card is for singles. So, completely single, 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 single. This pick a card is for who's coming towards you. Who's coming towards you in love? You're single, you're looking, what's going to, what's happening? This is three months, the next three months, okay? Three months from the time that you watch it. So you watch this, say you watch, this is an example. You watch this on January 15th. So January 15th to February 15th, that's one month. February 15th to March 15th, that's month number two. You know what I mean? So the next three months, the next three months, we're going to see who's coming towards you. You're going to pick the pile, pay attention. Pay attention. Pile number one. Who's coming towards me? Who's coming towards you? Next three months. Month number one. Or pile number one. Pile number two. Pile number three. I just gotta get my little things because I tend to mess it up if I don't have them. Pile number one. Pile number two. Pile number three. Gotta have it. Alright. Who's coming towards you? Singles. Pile number one. Who's coming towards you? Single and ready to mingle. Who's coming? If you are coupled and you're watching this, reading is not for you. You need to get single first. You know what I'm saying? Who is coming towards you? I can't take it because you saw it and I can't I can't let that happen. So it has to be don't turn them over please. We can't have these turned over. Who is coming towards you? Okay. I think I am going to use a different deck. Just crossed my mind. Okay. Who is coming towards you? Pile number one. Pile number one. Who is coming towards you? Pile number one. Pile number one can't take it. Please, no flip overs. No flip overs. Pile number one. Six cards. Six cards. You know, I, I feel the urge to do this, so that's what I'm going to do. One. Two. Three. Four, five, six. Pile number two. Pile number two. Pile number two.
pile number three. Who is coming towards you? Singles, who's coming towards you? Who's coming towards you? Next three months. Three month forecast. Pile number three. Are you ready? Are you ready? Who is coming towards you? Now take a minute to think which pile is yours? Pile number one, pile number two, or pile number three? Which pile is yours? Pile is yours. Who's coming towards you? Next three months. Who's coming towards you? Let's start with pile number three. Oh, wish fulfillment. The star. A blessing. A blessing. A gift. Something you have wished for, a dream come true. Something you have wished for, sent to you from heaven. Look at that. Don't lose hope, it's coming, it's coming. Keep wishing, Keep, set those intentions because it's manifesting, I'm telling you what. You are going to get what you were wishing for. I didn't pick a freaking pile, damn it. Victory! Doesn't get any better than this. It doesn't. You're headed towards victory. You're headed towards wish fulfillment. Look at the gold. Look at the light. Look at the look at the warmth. Look at the vibration. Whoever's coming to you is is a high vibration by the looks of things. Oh my god, and they're coming quick. Soon. They're coming. Remember, I said set your intentions. Clearly decide what you want so that it comes to you now. Set those intentions right now. Write it down on a piece of paper because I'm telling you what, you are going to receive some sort of gift, a blessing sent directly from heaven. It's going to lead to victory and success. It's going to be the completion of one cycle in your life. You're going to start a new one. You need, All you need to do is set that intention that you're ready. Clearly decide. It's coming. It's coming. I think I choose number three. <laughs> now these ones do not are not reversed they're not that's why I chose this deck they're not reversed this is the before tarot and they, they don't they're not meant to be reversed for me okay So yeah, you have you have uh, somebody coming with an offer of love, and it's gonna be this person wants your love, and if the stormy weather is about to end, it's like you're not gonna have to fight the storm by yourself. Somebody's coming. The storm, you're getting out of the stormy weather. You are. Things are gonna brighten up real fast. I said, you see the light, you see the warmth, the sunlight. You are about, the sun is going to shine again, trust me. It's, you are manifesting. Remember I said set those intentions. You are manifesting somebody and they hear you. They hear your prayers. Clearly decide what you want. It's coming, it's coming. And it's going to, when it comes, it's going to come quick. And it's going to get off the ground fast. You have a major new beginning here. You really do. Could be a Scorpio. Could be an Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Could be a Gemini. Whoever this person is, they're ready. 
and they're free they're ready for you and there's going to be a lot of passion with this person not only is it going to be passionate it's it's it's, it's going to be accepted i mean it's going to be a mutual thing where this person is not it wants it this person is going to want you look at the look at the passion look at it it's going to be very fertile there's going to be a lot of uh excitement it's just waiting it's just waiting right now you're in a waiting period you're in a you're, it's like it's waiting to manifest see this stuff has to die off first this stuff has to fall off so right now you're it's not happening because you haven't clearly set those intentions for number three you that's why it says clearly clearly decide what you want because you have to something needs to fall off and that would happen with the death card something needs to end completely first Okay, you got to be open. You need to clearly decide to have victory. So I feel as though you do have a major beginning, but something has to be released first. Um, there's something that has been storming in your life. Um, sometimes rain hurts, right? It comes down so hard and it's raining hard. You need to come out of some sort of cold, wet, wet weather that you have stayed in. Um, this person is going to come into your life um, out of the blue, okay? All of a sudden, they're going to come trotting into your life, and you guys are going to be heading right towards each other. It's after you release. It's almost like as soon as you truly, truly decide to release and end something, and this could be a mental ending or whatever, and that's obviously what it is because I said that you were single, right? This person is going to head right in your direction. It's divinely guided. It is. This is divine guidance is right as well. Now the magician sheds his old so that he can accept love. So it looks like there's something that you are still hanging on to that needs to be completely um, like you need to prune. You know, you got to prune off those dead leaves. You got to take out all the garbage. You got to cleanse. You got to you got to do everything. You got to be get prepared for this new growth. You got to you got to get rid of anything that is lingering from your past. Anything anything has to be gone that's when you clearly decide you use the resources you use the power to manifest but you can't be hanging on to anything that's dead you cannot you cannot so for pile number three you have to you have to be ready to open your heart fully that means you can't take the dead shit with you you can't because this is this is dead and this is dead so you know, I feel like you guys are going through some sort of transformation right now. But in the next three months, somebody is going to head into your life as soon as you are ready. I mean, so the timeline is on you. I mean, it could be as soon as 30 days, but it could be could take the full amount of time because you have to set those intentions. Whoever this person is, this person is probably a spiritual person of some sort. This person... Um, It's probably, I think it's probably a fire sign. I think it's probably a fire sign. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, whoever this person is, this person is exciting. And they, they're ready. They're ready. And they're going to be very, very, very attracted to you. Um, it's going to, it's going to, it's going to, there's going to be like an instant, instant spark between the two of you. Um, and it's because you have decided that's what you want. You're, you're letting go. You're letting go of all the dead ends in your life. So now is the time to set those intentions and release and cleanse and get rid of everything that is from your past. Because when you have a new beginning, this transformation, you, you release. And this is releasing the past. This, this magician sheds the old completely and manifests something new. So it's up to you. It's up to you if you want this. You are going to have an offer with the Knight of Cups and the Knight of Wands. You, are, it, could, you know, it could even be a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio because we have Scorpio here as well. Whoever it is, there's an offer of love and this person is it's going to be mutual. It's like you're going to you're going to want to offer it to this person and this person is going to want it. It's going to be like, yeah, I'll take that. This person is really going to want what you have to offer and it's it's absolutely going to be mutual. So whoever this person is, it's it's going to lead to a a uh, beautiful, beautiful, beautiful dream come true. Okay, it's a dream come true. So set your intentions now. Get rid of anything from your past. Anything. Go through your stuff. Set Clearly decide. They want you. The universe, the universe card, wants you to set that intention. They want you to, to really set that intention. 
clearly decide what you want so that it comes to you now. You have the power to manifest this person right into your life right now. But the only way you can do it is to release anything, anything from your past, anything, whether it's possessions that you had in your house from another person or whatever. You have to set that intention. You have to, you have to tell them that you are ready, that you're healed because the star card is a healing card. You have to heal from the past completely. So if you chose option number three, there's somebody coming into your life and it is a, it's the answer to your prayers. It's a wish fulfillment. It's a dream come true. And it could lead to something very, very victorious. It's a loving partnership with a whole lot of, of mutual attraction between the two. Um, and it's going to start you down a new path. You're going to start a new journey with this person, something that will grow, something that will grow, definitely. You just have to... You have to remove the last remnants of whatever it is that is holding you back. So the next three months, if you have clearly decided, if you have made those steps, if you have taken action, the magician takes action to bring victory and success. So the power is really in your hands. The power, the sword of power, is really in your hands. It's in your hands. If you want this person, call them in and your prayers will be answered. But you cannot keep anything that is dead you cannot that's what I have for pile number three pile number two pile number two Oh, transformation. I can't remember where I had that before. It doesn't really matter. The thinking man. The thinking man. Now, this is the death card, right? This is a new beginning. An ending that brings about a new beginning. We have this thinking man. Free yourself. It's time to take back control of your life. Hmm. Pile number two is you guys need to do something. You need to release something still. <laughs> Why is that always the case? You have to, you, the thinking man is a person who is very thoughtful. They very, has something to offer. You may be in your thoughts too much and you need to break free. You need to break free of something, of thinking too much and allowing the universe to, you know, bring you in something. Maybe you need to release your thoughts. You need to break free and uh, go with the flow. Let the, you, let the universe drive. I don't know. Now, these cards do not come out reverse. This is the before tarot. It doesn't matter if it's reversed anyway. The message will come out as it's meant to come out because I'm an intuitive. And for those of you that don't want to believe in intuitives and only want to go by the meanings of the cards, feel free to go watch somebody else because I don't have time for that. Anyway, we have a fresh new start here. We have a new beginning here. Endings bring new beginnings. You are about... <laughs> yeah, you're about to uh, get poked. Every rose has its thorn, right? Look at he's look at the dog's already been poked. The dog's already been stung by that thorn. And you may not you may not realize that you're about to get to get um stung or whatever, thorned, but you are. And something you know some, love hurts, right? Love hurts, it does. So you're about to have a fresh new start here. You're about to and a rose is love. Roses symbolize love. So you're about to find love. You really, really are. Um, if you are a man watching this, it could be with an empress. could be with a Taurus or a Libra. could be with any other sign. But um, we also have Leo here. you got to find some sort of... And see where this one landed. Right under this free yourself. You need to find the strength and the confidence to... Hold your head up high over something. You need to just go with it. Just hold your head up high. Find your self-esteem, your self-worth. Put yourself out there. Um, 
don't worry about what you look like. Some of you may have a self-image problem. You know, you you are a very graceful home, human being. Don't don't let your own insecurities hold you back. You're going to get exactly what you deserve from somebody who is very thoughtful, very kind, somebody that um thinks before they act. Um whoever this person is coming in is definitely very very well suited for you and they're gonna set the tune they're gonna set the tune they're gonna set the tune for you <laughs> now this is the next three months right You're going to get somebody who is going to give to you equally. There's going to be equal give and take in this relationship. This person is loyal. This person is going to help you. They're going to help you with your image. They're going to help you with um, your self-esteem. They're going to help you to take back control of your life. This person is very smart, very wise. This person is very caring, very nurturing. Whoever this person is, this person is like your equal. And it's going to be exciting. It is going to be exciting. You're about to receive some sort of some sort of new invitation or new opportunity to travel together you know to travel together so I feel like you are you're gonna ha you're having some sort of rebirth okay because these are both rebirth fresh new start going in a and like going in a new direction completely 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 new new direction this is um, this person that is coming towards you is free. I mean, they're completely free. They're not holding on. They've already released. They've already released their past. So whoever is coming, if you picked up pile number two, this person is completely free. They're not, they're not, they're not um, holding on to their past anymore. This person has transformed. This person is ready. They're ready for a fresh start. This person is ready to give and they're ready to help and they're ready to um, take good care of you, whoever this person is. Um, this person is going to see your worth. This person is going to see your worth. And this person is going to um, think that you are absolutely stunning. Okay, Whether you are a man or a woman, this person is going to think that you are, are the shit. So, um, yeah. Pile number two. I think the only thing is, is that you need you need to do something because this card wouldn't be here. Trying to control the situation. Let the universe take control. Break free of those thoughts. Stop thinking that, you know, you can control it. You know, and then all this is it's time to take back back control of your life. You need to break free from something. You need to get out there because he's penned. This this unicorn is penned up and this is be a free spirit. So you may need to get out there. Don't worry about what you look like. Maybe you're thinking that you're not good enough or you're thinking that you're not beautiful enough or you're thinking whatever. That's not true. This person is going to love you for who you are. Release that thought that you're not good enough. Uh, this is insecurities. That's what's holding this. That's why there's a delay. You're beautiful. You're beautiful. You're abundant. Especially, I mean, I feel as though there's somebody coming into your life that is is has something really solid to offer you. And this person is spiritual. This is a spiritual person who... Um, is very free spirited too. This person is free spirited. This person is is definitely not holding on to any baggage, you know. They're they're open. 
They're open-minded. So I feel like this is an exciting new opportunity that is going to come into your life as soon as you let go of the image problem, let go of the self-image problem, let go of the fear, because this is fear and self-image. Let you know you have the ability. I mean, let go. This is fear and image problem. Let go of it. Those are just insecurities that are distracting you from abundance. Now, if you don't have any children, this person, you could end up having children with this person. If you are a single man, you could you could come into, and you may not like this, some single men don't like this, and I'm just saying, if you're watching this, you could run into a woman that has two children. I'm just saying, if you're the man here, and you may be, think that you, you know, you don't have what it takes to take care of this woman. This woman has her shit together, so you don't have to worry about it. You're not going to have to take care of her children. She can take care of her own children. So if that's a problem, I'm just telling you, this woman can get, she's wise enough. She can take care of her own children. So anyway, if you are the woman with these two children, there's a man that's thinking about coming into your life right now. And he's going to help. He is going to help. So for pile number two, the next three months, it looks like you have a major new, be this major, a major new beginning here. Somebody is about to fall in love, okay? They're going to get struck by love. It's going to, they are. They absolutely are. And it's exactly what you deserve. This person is going to give to you. It's not going to be a one-sided relationship where you're doing all the work. This person is wise. This person is thoughtful. This person has something to offer and is ready to offer it. You just need to break free of your own thoughts, of your own prison. Let go of your insecurities about who you are. You are a beautiful, stunning individual. Don't forget it. This person will see that. And that's what I have for pile number two. And pile number one. Power. Strength card. Courage, wisdom. Adjacent possibility of multiple options, pile number three. Multiple. Who's coming towards you in the next three months? Or pile number one. Did I say I said I meant to say pile number one? You have multiple, multiple, multiple options because of your valor, because of who you are, because of how strong you are. You're strong, you're courageous, you're comfortable, you're powerful. Ooh, pay attention to the red flags. The signs are cautioning you. Be careful. you got so many options, you're going to need to be careful. Pile number one, you're going to need to be careful because not all of these doors have something good behind it. So you're going to be, uh, you're going to have options and you're going to have to really find your inner strength and your ability to restrain yourself from the wrong ones. Don't let, don't let it go to your head. This is ego, too. I mean, you you have so many possibilities. It could go to your head. Just saying. you got to be wise enough to know better because you're going to have so many options in the next three months. Pay attention to all the signs. You could have a King of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn is one of the options. You could have a Leo. You could have um, any sign. Now, usually this has four. Yeah, this is Aquarius, Leo, Scorpio, or Taurus. Whatever's happening is you're going to have to really discern the situation. Okay, discernment here. 
You are. You're going to have to discern. You're going to have to um, be practical. You're going to have to be grounded. You're going to have to really think about which one is the golden opportunity. You're going to be really happy. You're going to be floating. You're going to be floating. Okay, you're going to feel like you're floating because you're getting so much attention. Okay, the light is going to be shining down on you and you're going to feel like you are uh, you're extremely happy. You're going to feel extremely, extremely, extremely content and happy with all the attention that you're getting. You're going to be showered with light. Okay. You are, and it looks like whatever is happening, it's 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 really good, 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 good with the wheel of fortune. It's good fortune, okay? It's it's good. Whatever is happening is leading you towards the one. It is leading you towards the one, but you're gonna have to make a very painful, stressful decision, especially between two of these options. You have multiple options, but you have two options in particular that you're gonna have to make a, a painful, stressful decision about. And it could be between, I, you know, this is, I can't even believe this, it could be between a Leo and a Capricorn, Taurus or Virgo, it could be between any other signs, but you're going to have to make a, a decision that's painful here. Um, and you got to be sure not to block out the truth. You're going to really pay attention to the red, to the red flags because... You may not, you may not want to see the whole truth, or you may not see the whole truth. You know what I mean. So you're gonna really have to um, just take that mask off. See, she's taking the mask off. Just take it right off, or she's putting it on. It could go either way. You have to accept the way things are. Just you know. If you don't, it's going to lead to the three of swords. So make sure that you, you know, your eyes are wide open. Make sure your eyes are wide open because somebody could um, be trying to pull the wool over your eyes. They just, they could, they could. They may not be who they say they are. Just, just be careful. Um, if you, you know, you could meet this person at some sort of parade or some sort of festival or some sort of gathering where there's a bunch of people. If you have not met this person yet, and it could seem like it's all fun and games, and it could lead to a lot of happiness, it really could. It really, really could. But are you really prepared? You know, are you really, really, really prepared? Because you could, you could. not be prepared you might not be prepared for this arrival you know he's he's trying to read what to do next I mean and you're gonna have to you may have to investigate you may you may have to investigate you know to see which one is going to bring you the the um, that you want to bring with you into the next chapter of your life so I whoever is coming into your life I think that you're gonna have two options you're definitely gonna have you're you're gonna have multiple options but you're definitely gonna have at least two that you're gonna you know really need to choose from and probably um, one of them is is very stable one of them is very secure and solid but they may be a little uh, aloof this person may be a little aloof, a little may seem to be a little cold-hearted, but they're stable. They're stable. So, you know, you may be, I mean, maybe, I don't know what you're going to do, but you're definitely going to have options here, and you're going to have to use a lot of discernment. You are. Um, this could lead to happiness. It could lead to a lot of happiness. This, what, this, you know, whoever this choice is, it could lead to a lot of happiness. It could lead to... A lot of growth and you're just going to have to um, you know your free will plays a part your free will does play a part and you're gonna have to really investigate which one is the basically the best option okay it's pretty much that's the way it is um, so who is coming towards you for option number one multiple people multiple and you're gonna have to really just Make sure it does, don't get a chip on your shoulder, okay? I'm just telling you, don't get a chip on your shoulder. Be sure to use discernment. Be sure to um, pay attention to the red flags and get, be grounded with your decision. Be realistic. Be practical. Um, sometimes, you know, when you're, when you're floating on air, you're not always practical. So be sure that you are... Um, 
making the right decision. This is something that uh, you probably didn't expect right now. You probably didn't expect to have all these options, but all of a sudden they're here and you may feel like this is too good to be true. And, you know, try not to... Um, go overboard okay so for pile number one you're gonna have to uh, make a decision who, who one of them is going to lead to a lot of happiness if you make the right decision okay so the choice is yours free will plays a part this is all meant to happen because you have to you have to use your power wisely you have to use your strength wisely you have to use your discernment wisely you have to you know make the right choice for your own happiness so you know i feel like this is something that you have prayed for and now you have all these options and now you're really going to have to go within to choose So yeah, I feel option number one, you have multiple options and you're going to have to make a really difficult choice between two people. Um, I would say it's it, it could be any sign, but my guess would be for option number uh, one, it could be Leo, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. We have uh, Scorpio, Aquarius, Taurus, and Leo. Could be any other signs. Could be. Could be. Could be Libra, Gemini, Aquarius as well. Could be Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. You can I mean it could be anybody. It could be anybody. Whoever this person is, it's it could absolutely lead to commitment and something it really extreme happiness. You're gonna be extremely happy anyway. In the next three months, you're gonna be extremely happy because of all the attention that you're getting, option number one. Congratulations. The power is in your hands. The choice, the power and the choice is in your hands. Be sure that you're looking at all the signs because you don't want to make that wrong choice and, and go backwards. Good luck.